Welp, ladies and gentlemen, it is officially official. The New York Rangers have named Gerard Gallant their head coach. They're the first team out of many teams that are looking to get new head coaches to do so. And I have a excuse me, I have a couple of bit of thoughts. First off, he's probably the best coach on the market, and the Rangers just got him. So, the Rangers, they have a great future already. They have Lafreniere, Kako, Lindquist, Georgiev. We've already talked about that millions and millions and millions and millions of times. But, now they have the best coach in the market. And look what this man did with the Vegas Golden Knights. Got into the Stanley Cup Finals in their first year. He did very well in their second year, all despite losing in the first round. And they also, he also did pretty well in the half year he played. He played, which I'm kind of wondering why they fired him. But this team, I think Golan going to the Rangers, this team, I think getting that coach puts them over the hump. And look, it's a coach. It's not a player. But I feel like with the team that the Rangers already have, with the amount of young guys, with the amount of opportunities they get alone, and, you know, there was always that criticism with David Quinn and how he didn't play the young guys. And, you know, there was always that big criticism. One of my, the second most popular video on this entire channel is basically a David Quinn exposed video. That, that's basically what it is. So I look at this and I say to myself, well, if you put Galat in there, and I've seen Galat play the young guys, um, that Vegas team was fairly young. Although there were there was there was a batch of old guys, it, it was a fairly young middle aged type of team. So I look at that and I say, well, this team, the Rangers, are probably going to win a cup. Um, they're they're at least a playoff team now. And then I I just realized the biggest thing because you have you know you have the Devils rising up, you have the Islanders already rising up, you have the Rangers rising up hardcore. And all three of those teams are in the same division. And then you got the Flyers, who should bounce back. They have the Pens, who probably will be the same as they were last year. And then you have the Capitals, who always finish top. And then you have the Boston Bruins as well. Like, the, the, I mean, not the Bruins. The Bruins aren't in their division. You have the Hurricanes as well. And the Blue Jackets, who are you know going to that rebuild expectedly. This division is going to be incredibly tight next season. I don't think people really realize that. To be entirely honest with you, this division is going to be so much fun to watch. And it, it, it was even more fun, or it's going to be even more fun, than this year's East Division. This year's East Division was so entertaining. With every game that disincluded the Flyers, every game was so entertaining to watch. For me, at least. <clears throat> I had to add that in there. But... You know, I just think with the way Gallant coaches, you look at what he did with the World Championships, you look at what happened with the Golden Knights, the Panthers, everything else before that. This this could be big for the Rangers. And in fact, the ironic thing is, 27 years ago today, they won their first ever Stanley Cup. Or, no, 27 years ago today, they won their first Stanley Cup. In 54 years. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you all guys very much for watching. And for all your support on the channel as of late. Uh, this video should expectedly get a lot of views. And yeah I mean it's expected. Because my Rangers videos you do fairly well in all honesty. So yeah I'm looking forward. So yeah thank you all for watching. For all your support. By the way. New jersey in the collection. Um, there will be a post up on Instagram. If you want to go look at it more. Um, and yeah I will see you guys. In the next video.